Okay, welcome back to another video tutorial of Renate Europe. My name is Gert and I will guide you through this tutorial. The tutorial is about using DPU units, distributed power unit. That's what DPU stands for. Now, if you select your engine, you will have an extra box here to set up DPU lead units. Now, as this is the lead engine of the consist, you do not set this one up as a DPU unit. You would always select the units uh, in the middle of your train or on the back of your train. In our case, let's say these two engines are on the back of the train, then I would select the first engine on uh, the back. Whatever that follows behind it will respond to this first engine. So if you set up the second one, this one will still respond on the controls of the lead engine. So make sure that you, if you set up DPU, that you take the DPU lead unit and everything that comes behind it will respond to the DPU lead unit settings. So you make this one DPU lead unit. Make sure to check his position, it's facing, and it's facing the same direction as your lead unit, because that's heading East Barstow. This one is also heading East Barstow. Now, if I would have taken the last one, that's heading for West Barstow. And I would have set the track direction relative to the control unit to reversed, because it's faced backwards. But this is our lead DPU lead. Sorry, DPU lead unit. Face it forward, and that's that. That means if I if I'm going to set up my DPU in my MFD screen, MFD stands for multiple multifunctional display. Oh my God, my English is worse today. Right, worse than other days. So. This is a DPU lead unit. Everything that comes behind it will respond to this unit. Everything in front of it will respond to the lead engine. In this case, this is the lead engine. Simple as that. Get inside your cab. No, wait, we'll start up the engines first. I'll refuel them all. Because these days, well, that's something new, you have to refuel them, because if you spawn new self-created trains, they're all without diesel. So make sure that you refuel them before you spawn them into a session uh, or a multiplayer server. Because if they have on the server uh, the function activated where you can only refuel at the refueling racks, like for example here in Barstow, this is a refueling rack, you, then that means you can only refuel at these specific positions. N not anywhere else, only there. There are several of these uh, refueling racks available throughout the server, of course. So make sure you refuel them before you start them. I'll start all MU because if you do not that do that, the only engine that will respond to whatever you do is the first engine because the MU stands for multiple units. And that means set up my train as a multiple unit, more than one unit. So they're all running. As you can remember, we have chosen this one to be our DPU lead unit in forward position relative to the lead unit. Control F11 to your cab. Set all your switches on. Make sure your train is in run. And then you have the MFD screen for your DPUs. Here you can see it again. Distributed power and then the U stands for unit. So we have set up two engines on the back to be our DPU consist and all the other engines, the four remaining engines, are responding exactly the same as our lead A engine here. So if I set up my fence, the fence is the green bar that you just saw popping up that one that's the fence that means 
to make it visually simple for you, everything on the left responds as one unit. Everything to the right responds as one unit. So if I would go back and I would say the two middle engines of my consist are also DPU'd, then I would see three blocks. Three blocks of two engines. Everything to the right responds together. See? And everything to the left responds together. See? It's nothing more to it. So if I would set the, the bar one more to the right, the only engines that are responding are behind the last uh, DPU unit. So make no mistake there. Uh, the fence is the green line that you can see hop about and that will say everything to the left is a one unit and everything to the right acts as one unit. Simple as that. Now if you would... Uh, so let's say that we are on a grade uh, for example. You know what? Let's go to the grade. That will make it simpler. This is our train, okay. We will delete this one. And we'll go to the Mojave Mountains. There we go. We wait a bit. A bit more. Loaded. Okay. And now we can go to the Mojave Mountains. So if you were to say, well, let's go to Marshall. That's a nice steep point. Now we'll put our track wrong way of course always make sure that you face the way you want to have your traits that's better so now to explain this uh, a bit better I'll have to refuel the damn things auto start auto MU I set up the last two engines in the consist as a DPU because these will be my pushers to get up the hill and these will the other four will be my pullers to get up the hill. So I make sure I have my switch to run. Set all my circuit breakers to active. Maybe if it's dark we'll put on some lights if you want to. And then I would set up my fence for my DPUs. That means the last two engines that I just assigned to be my DPUs will be acting here. I can say from here on, oh no, I don't want to uh, act them as a DPU, we'll take them off and everything in the consist will act on what I set in the lead engine. So to start here we need DPUs, simple as that. So we make sure that everything responds properly and powers up. There we go, we have a load on the lead. And do we have a load on the back? Yes, okay. So, if I were to start on the hill and there would and there, there are cars in between it and we, we, we weigh 10,000 ton, that means I will have to start pushing with those two engines. That means, as you can see here, I've set them up, the last two and everything else uh, responds together so I would say increase DPU power as you can hear they're throttling up and they will be pushing as if I take off the uh, handbrakes you see they start pushing that's what you want when you want to start up a hill because you want to have your, you want your train bunching up. Otherwise, as you can see, you will roll back. Or if you have all your uh, engines pulling, you will tear down. Uh, you will tear apart your consist because too much pulling power and too much weight lingering on the back will stretch your couplers to the point that they will break. Simple as that. So make sure set up your DPU right. Always on a on on a grade. Make sure that you are 
pushing harder than you are pulling to start. Eventually, when, when you're up to speed, you can ease off. Uh, well, not ease off. They will, they will line up more together so that you can have uh, the same equal power on everything and then you will uh, slowly but steadily uh, climb up the mountain. That's something you have to uh, watch out for. Eh? Then, as soon as you're moving, you'll take away the fence so that everything is uh, acting together and there is no more need for DPU uh, unless you have real issues, a heavy train, a long train and you, you need, you require constant uh, DPUs pushing and less pulling on your train then you keep it active of course. But that's basically how to set up a DPU. You select the first engine that you want to act as the DPU lead unit and all the engines behind it will uh, act as this one unit. They will respond to whatever you set up your DPU for this unit and everything behind it will follow it. Everything in front of it, in front of the DPU engine, will respond to the lead engine. There's nothing more to it. So make sure that if you want to start up the hill, set up your DPUs properly or or you can break a lot of coppers, especially when you go into hover mode. And if you activate in your option menus the uh, Mo Beta Coppler equations, that will make it even more realistic. And if you don't use DPUs, then you won't get up the mountain without breaking the coupler, unless you go one mile an hour, and even then. Anyway, that's uh, roughly it on how to set up a DPU. If you have any more questions, Please do post them in the uh, reactions uh, below the, the video, of course. And if you have any suggestions on new video materials or tutorials, you can also ask that, ask that in the uh, reactions section below. Thank you all for watching and enjoy your ride up to the mountain. Goodbye.